Winston? Winston? Come back with that leg of lamb. For the first time ever, the Queen has opened up her back garden at Buckingham Palace to the public. With over a thousand different trees, 325 different species of plants, a lake, a tennis court, there'll be so much to see. When you tour Buckingham Palace, you can now go out into the garden and have a picnic in the grounds. After you've explored the gardens, you just lay out a rug and have a nice little picnic. Now, they'll be having sandwiches and pastries that you can purchase there while you're in the gardens, but imagine if you have the recipes, the royal recipes that I prepared at the palace, and you make those for your picnic. And you go and have a picnic having the, the authentic royal recipes, and who knows, maybe even the same food that the Queen's eating inside the palace at the same time that you're having afternoon tea. I'm going to be sharing with you in this video some of my royal afternoon tea recipes, a selection of different sandwiches, strawberries and cream, a glass of Pims to wash it down with, and then you can click on the other videos, the shortbread, the chocolate cake, and of course the royal tea scones. That would be an amazing afternoon tea to have in the grounds of Buckingham Palace. No one else is going to have that, right? Packet, store-bought sandwiches. You're going to be eating like royalty. We serve pims a lot at Buckingham Palace in the summer, you know, garden parties and things. And it's no secret the Queen is a lover of gin. It, it's a gin-based drink and uh, with a splash of lemonade in there, that's um, Sprite in the US, I think. Uh, it, it really is a super refreshing drink. You won't believe the garnish that goes into the Royal Pims recipe. Forget just a slice of lemon, seven different things. It's almost a fruit salad. Sliced oranges, lemons, cherries, stones removed of course, strawberries, cucumber, mint and borage, which I couldn't find when it came to making this video, but here's a photo of it anyway. Add the garnish to the glass. You can put as little or as less as you'd like. If you don't like cherries, then leave them out. If you love strawberries, then just add more into it. This is your cocktail. Look at the cucumber, just the peelings. The flesh part would all go mushy. And anyway, that is used for royal tea sandwiches, as you'll see in a few minutes. Plenty of ice too. Look at this gorgeous ice machine I got sent recently. It's a desktop ice machine made by Hosum and produces 26 pounds of ice in 24 hours. It comes with a scoop, but I'm making a Royal Pims silver tongs for this. <laughs> if you order one in the link in the description, they're a whopping 50% right off right now. One part Pims and two or three parts Sprite or lemonade. Some members of the royal family measured it the other way around, but I'm not saying who. <laughs> I've put a link to the Hosum ice machine in the description below. And if you follow me on Instagram, I'm giving away a free ice machine. So go ahead, follow me. There's a link to my Instagram account below and you could be getting one of these ice machines for the summer. That'd be so cool. Cool ice. When I started working at Buckingham Palace as a young boy, my bedroom overlooked the gardens, and it was so much fun just looking out the window and watching the Queen walk the corgis. <coughs> no, not you. And, and the Queen's flight, the helicopters landing in the back garden. It's huge, the garden's huge. It was even more fun getting to play on the tennis courts inside the gardens at Buckingham Palace. Me, a young chef, playing on the same courts that King George VI, the Queen's father, played Fred Perry, the, the Wimbledon icon, right? In the 1930s. And staring out of the window, you know, when the Queen had all those garden parties through the summer, watching those thousands of people lined up, just hoping to, to meet the Queen, wanting to be there as a young chef, out there in the gardens, having pims and, and scones with clotted cream. I did get an invite though. 
With around 6,000 people at each garden party, that's a lot of food. Unfortunately, the royal chefs only had to cater for the royal tea tent. We do a selection of different sandwiches like this. The Queen was served jam pennies in the nursery as a little girl. She's had them for afternoon tea ever since. Simple, just bread and jam with a little butter, usually strawberry jam. We'd make the jam at Balmoral Castle with the gorgeous Scottish strawberries from the gardens. Sandwiched together and then cut into circles, they were called pennies after the size of the old English penny. Cucumber sandwiches, the flesh peeled with a potato peeler, down to the seeds and then turn over and do the same again on the other side. Cream cheese with a hint of fresh spearmint folded in, spread thinly on both sides and then a layer of the cucumber. Dainty, delicate and delicious. The definition of afternoon tea. Take off the crusts, it is for the queen, and cut it into tiny two bite sandwiches. Cheese and tomato sandwiches. Cut the tomato into four. Carefully remove the seeds. They get stuck in your teeth. You can't have that when you're meeting the queen. And then carefully remove the skin. This part is optional. Look at those nice skills. <laughs> butter the bread, salted butter, both slices, then grated cheese. I'm using Sage Derby. It's one of Britain's oldest cheese. Lay the tomatoes on top, sandwich, and then again remove the crusts and cut into two bite sandwiches. Ah, oh, afternoon tea. The Palace Gardens are like an oasis in central London. It's so peaceful and quiet and there's no wonder you get to see so much wildlife in there too. You know, the birds and um, the, the, even bees there and, and swans on the lake and squirrels. I mean, it's, it, it's gorgeous. In fact, you know, back in the 1800s, uh, they actually had elephants and zebras, zebras in the garden too. Seriously, it's true. It's rumoured that the Queen Mother, uh, when uh, Princess Elizabeth and Princess Margaret were young, uh, she would walk around the garden with them and as they came to each tree, uh, each of the girls had to come up with a new topic of conversation, change the conversation and then the next tree, the next girl, come up with uh, another conversation uh, there's no wonder that the Queen is, is never short of conversation. It's a great idea, though. Another royal garden party tradition is strawberries and cream. Pims and strawberries and cream. I know, Wimbledon, right? But <laughs> we serve strawberries uh, at every garden party, just like this. Even if you aren't one of the lucky ones to be touring Buckingham Palace and having an afternoon picnic in the gardens this year, at least now you can make these royal recipes at home. But don't forget to try the chocolate cake, the shortbread, the royal scones recipe as well. And you can have a picnic at your house. Oh, and the ice machine. This is amazing, it really is. Just fresh ice cubes on the desktop like this. Follow me on Instagram, we're giving away one of these to one lucky winner. If you've enjoyed the vid, then don't forget to give me a thumbs up, leave a comment below, 
Subscribe if you haven't already. I'll see you again soon. Happy picnic.